Okay, so today while my little brother was not online, I um, may have added another thing to his house. This seems to be a reoccurring thing <laughs> in the videos, but it's easy. It's nice. You know, he, he doesn't know much about Minecraft and he, he loves just chilling on it. So it makes for a good video. Basically, as you can see, his house looks just as normal as it usually does. He has all of his essentials, his little area where he goes down to mine, yada, yada, yada. But what he doesn't know is right over here, I set up a secret room. <laughs> so if you come down here, you go, you just phase through that block and as as you come down this hallway, you can see into his house. I also added another little thing because I figured if he does go mining, we'll want to know. So I can kind of just sit here and whenever I see his little legs run by, then we'll know that we're good to go up and into his base. He's not online right now, but I set it all up just in case because obviously if I'm running around placing a bunch of blocks while he's online, it's going to be suspicious. But I do plan to steal a lot of stuff in his house <laughs> and just replace it all and remake it right under him. Then we'll reveal it to him. We'll see what happens. But before anything, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Apparently there's this thing where YouTube unsubscribes people. People. I don't know if it's actually real or if it's a scam to get you guys subscribed. But if you guys haven't already, subscribe. <laughs> We're on the road to 10 million subscribers. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe. And drop a like as well if you haven't already. Let's try to hit 10,000 likes in 24 hours. We've never done it before, but one day we will. And I want you guys to comment sand because there's some sand right in front of me and there's no other reason why you should. Other than that, I will hurt some people who do. Okay, so the thing is, is my little brother knows that I love the troll. Any chance that I get, like whenever he's on, and I'm, I'm, blah, 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 blah. he's actually online now. So we can, um, we can try to mess with him a little bit. He obviously knows that I like to put mods on the server and and I'll rename them so he doesn't know what anything is. So what I, what I have planned right now is I have this potion of invisibility and whatnot. So I'm going to go invisible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly take stuff out of his house. And I'm going to replace it below him. So I just saw that he went down below into the mines. The only thing is, it, uh, okay, so he's not coming now. What should we take first? So I don't think he cares too much about the jukebox, I'm going to guess. So we want to start off as little as possible. And I'm using the invisibility as you know a second measure in case he does come up because obviously i don't know when he's gonna come up that's the thing i don't want to ruin any of this so uh, i need to make sure <laughs> that i do not mess this up because if he finds out then he will come into my room and the video will be over going to game mode three and we'll tp to him tp death stick okay so my game is incredibly laggy but he's so far away yeah he's mining really far away the thing is <laughs> I wonder sometimes if he x-rays. Because one time he asked me if uh, x-raying was a thing, and I told him that it was. I never asked him if he actually does x-ray, because I don't have any sort of, like, restrictions on it, because it's just, like, our own little server that we play on. But he really could be... <laughs> he really could be x-raying right now. But, I mean, we're messing with his house, so we'll let him get any diamonds that he wants. But he is really far away, as you guys saw. He's probably about, like, 100 to 200 blocks away, so we'll be able to take some more stuff. I was thinking, like, we could probably take his furnaces on this side of the room and leave this side of the furnaces maybe I'm not sure not sure if he'll notice that but uh or maybe what if we left one on each side no nah, we'll just take all of it <laughs> we're gonna recreate his entire room i can't take his bed i really want to take his bed so that i could put it next to the the jukebox that he made the last video he was grinding for diamonds or something and he made like a jukebox and some of the essentials for diamonds and stuff like that not sure if he got all of it legit he might have though but, uh okay wait so he has his it's gonna be a down or like a smaller version of his because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to recreate his entire house down here. But we have half of his furnaces and a little jukebox. We could go ahead and check to see if he's coming up or not. This isn't a really good angle because <laughs> I can't see if he's... I mean, I guess I can see his name tag. So uh, I don't see any sort of name tag nearby. And if I do see it, then we can look right here for when he comes up. And uh, we can look here whenever he's walking around his house. I'm actually going to place some torches around in here just in case because uh, this bat just spawned in here. And if we have a zombie... Oh, oh he's here. He's here right now. <laughs> I was going to say, if a zombie spawned down here, then he would be able to hear it. Yeah, we could see him walk up. We got to be very, very quiet. I'm going to crouch just so that he doesn't hear me uh, walking around. But as you can see, we can see <laughs> we can see him walking around. Okay, he might be leaving, going back down below, or he's in his chests. I wish I could see a little bit more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in his furnaces. He hasn't said anything in the chat or anything like that, but uh, it looks like he's using his furnaces and putting stuff in the chest. This is a very, very bad angle. <laughs> I should have made it up so that we could actually see what's going on. But, I mean, we could kind of see what's going on, which is nice. It'll be funny to, to reveal to him that we can see everything that he's doing. And when he's walking around, whenever he sleeps, whenever he goes into his chest, whenever he starts cooking anything, it'll be nice, you know? His bat is going to be really annoying, though, because if it keeps making the little... Deet, 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 
beep noise as it's flying around, he's gonna be able to hear it. So this bat, you're dead. Like 30 seconds, whenever he walks back down into the mines or goes outside or whatever he's gonna do. Hopefully he doesn't go AFK in his house. If he does, then uh, yeah. Okay, he's leaving, he's walking outside. The bat right there, you do not have that much longer. I just realized, because <laughs> I have an invisibility potion. It's just a sword. There's two bats. Wait, what? They're multiplying. I'm gonna try to be quick and not make too much noise. I'm also gonna drink another potion of invisibility because I do not want to reappear as, uh, as he comes over. You know, I'm pretty sure if I don't have a potion of invisibility, that he'll be able to see my name tag. And that's the one thing I want to hide. Okay, so he is his little mining area. I'm going to try to be quiet and I'm going to stand right here so that we can see if he goes back down into his mines. It sounds like he's cooking either iron or something like that. He's cooking something or maybe he just went out and got food. I'm not sure. He's talking to his friend though. I walked into his room to see what he's up to. And he's in discord with his friend and he's also like playing Fortnite at the same time. Don't ask me how he's doing it, but I, I don't know. Right as he goes down there, I think I'm going to steal something else though. Uh, maybe both of his actually no. He uses his furnaces. So I don't know if we'll be able to take that. It seems like his main thing that he's using right now is his furnaces. So maybe we could take like his bed or something. And then I'll just keep changing the time to day so that he doesn't have to go to sleep or worry about it. I'm not for sure. Okay. Yeah. He's going down into the mines. We should be able to run down and back into his house without him hearing us. Okay. I'm going to stand on top of his house because he did not go all the way into the mines. I see his name tag halfway into his mind. <laughs> all right. We could scope out uh, on the inside of his house what we're going to steal next. So it looks like he's only using that one furnace right there. But also, he doesn't use all of his chests. That's a lot of chest space for a lot of stuff he doesn't use. I'm pretty sure he only uses uh, maybe the chest right next to the furnaces, but I'm not sure about this, these two chests over here. I have st stolen a lot of stuff from that side of the house though, so he might get a little bit mad, but it looks like he's going down below. Or we can steal his torches. That's not a bad idea. Technically, I did put torches in my house, so we could just take the torches from his. If I have them, then he can't. <laughs> So uh, a lot of more mobs will spawn inside of his house, which actually that sounds like a good idea. We could also steal the water. <laughs> oh, I'm going to steal his golden ingots too. That's kind of funny. I'll put the golden ingots inside of my furnace so that whenever we reveal to him and he's like, wait, where did my iron ingots go? He might actually realize that I stole his iron and ask in the chat. I'm not sure. <laughs> But we're gonna steal it. All right, iron ingots are now in the furnace. We already have the, the torches set up around the area, which is nice. And did I steal anything else? I don't think so. So now a bunch of mobs should spawn because all the torches are obviously out of his house. We have his iron, or not his iron, his gold. We might have enough time to actually take something else. There is water in each corner of the house. Uh, was that? A, I thought that was him for a second, but it's a zombie way, way down there. I'm not sure if he uses ender chest. I don't hear him open it all the time. I have nothing in my ender chest, that's for sure. But we could end up taking it and then maybe maybe take one of his beds. Would that be cool? Not sure. He might notice it. Maybe not. We're getting towards <laughs> the part where we start to take his entire room and he'll be like, all right, Austin, now you need to chill. Or he'll obviously realize that I've taken everything, but uh, yeah, I'm going to take his bed. And what else did I take? His crafting table. Ah, I see what I missed. It was the ender chest. Okay. So ender chest he had on this side of the bed. And I just realized the uh, jukebox was right on that side. So we have a good majority of his house, maybe like 30%. I can't go all out right at the beginning or else he's obviously going to realize. But I think we can start taking it to drastic measures now. So uh, I'm going to start stealing his chests, uh, maybe some water, uh, the water in the corners. I think that'd be kind of nice. I don't see his name tag just yet, so we could probably see what we could do now. Uh, make sure that he's not coming. Okay. I'm pretty sure he doesn't use those chests. I could check these chests to see if he uses them. Okay, so it looks like he uses those two chests the most, but he doesn't use these two. So I'll go ahead and actually should I leave one or should I take both? Nah, we'll take both. <laughs> Screw it. We'll take both the chests. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think you'll notice. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm, uh... Okay, so the chests were on this side of the house, I think. And there was four of them. Okay. Maybe what I'll do at the end of the video for him to realize, I'll break a couple of these blocks so that he can see inside. <laughs> and I'll like let him come in where I'm like sleeping in his bed. That'd be awesome. That'd be like, oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to be sleeping in his bed whenever he finds out what I'm doing. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, it's already getting nighttime. I don't see his name tag yet, though. Uh, maybe we could check on him. He beat a death stick. Okay, so it looks like he is not that far. His house, as you guys can see, I mean, if you squint, really, really, it's right over there. Maybe like 200 blocks away. He's doing a lot of suspicious mining, though. My my inner server owner intellect is saying he's x-raying. Look the way, look at the way he started mining down here, and then he went up there. I'm actually gonna go check to see if he's x-raying real quick. <laughs> 
This whole video is me trolling him, but what if he's actually x-raying this entire time? Okay, so I just went and checked up on him to see what he was doing, and he was an x-raying as I walked in, at least. He was smiling a lot, though, which makes me think that he's turning it on and off, but I'm not sure. He does not know. He has no clue that what of, of what I'm doing right now, I think, at least. He did ask me, though, if I was trolling him, and <laughs> technically, I mean, he doesn't know, from what I know, at least. He even asked me if I was trolling him. I mean, I am, but he just doesn't know yet. Oh, I just realized I don't have invisibility anymore, and that would have sucked if he was walking into the house, back into the house as I was talking to him, because then he would have seen my name tag. But uh, he, as I walked in, he, I mean, he was still really far away mining a bunch of iron and whatnot, so he's got a lot to do. Hopefully, he doesn't come up anytime soon, but I am also going to steal the chests over here, and then I'll put all of his loot into those chests. At the end of the video, I'll help him restock everything, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take these chests as well. I'm also going to spawn some zombies inside of his house. Actually, I'll only spawn one. I don't want to spawn too many because uh, then he'll be suspicious that I'm spawning them in and I don't want that. I want him to be as little as suspicious as possible so that I can keep doing this. But I'm going to add those chests to the collection down below and uh, I'm going to see if he's going to come up anytime soon so that he doesn't walk up while I'm in there. Okay, it doesn't look like he's coming up just yet. He might be mining even more. I'll, I'll check on him in just a second. Not sure what he's up to. Maybe he's looking for diamonds. Maybe he's x-raying. Maybe because I brought it up that he was x-raying, maybe he's on YouTube looking up a video on how to x-ray. Not sure. I do not see his name tag though, so I think we'll be okay. Maybe we take his crafting tables. He puts his crafting tables right there so that it doesn't take up space anywhere in his house, but then as he goes up and down from his mines and just around his house, it's like a part of the house, which I think is kind of neat. But I'm gonna take him now and we're gonna see what he says. He's definitely gonna notice that the room looks really empty as he comes up. So I guess right now we're gonna have to go all out. So uh, I don't wanna mess with his loot inside of his chests, but I will take his furnaces so that he has nothing in them. Oh, okay. Oh, I just got his iron. He's definitely gonna be suspicious of that. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna be suspicious of anything, right? As he comes up to his house. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down below and I'm gonna place hopefully uh, as much as possible to make it look like his house uh, in person. I'm just gonna stack them on top because we don't have much space in here. I'll replace the torch right there. Okay, what else does he have? He has one more bed. So maybe I move the jukebox to make space for the second bed right there. Now we gotta go grab it and break it or whatever. I will reset his spawn. So if he does die, he will spawn across the map, but that's okay. We gotta hurry because he could come up any second. Not sure when he will come up, but uh, I'm actually going to spawn a couple more zombies. I'll spawn a couple zombies in the hallway too whenever he's coming up so that he, you know, he has a little surprise before he gets here. He'll keep him company before he actually gets up to see his beautiful house. Alright, break the bed, and then we also got to take the water because <laughs> it's a very scumbag thing to do. Go ahead, grab the bucket. Boom, boom. Uh, get rid of the, this side, and okay, all the zombies are coming up here. <laughs> They're coming up to talk. They're having a conversation. It's a party in here. Wow. All he has left in his house is just four chests. Technically one, two, eight chests. I had to do the math there. That's crazy. Very empty house. <gasps> and he's coming up right now. And I had a block in my hand. He definitely knows. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to hurry. We got to go all the way down and get ready for him to look at his house. Hurry. Run! You can probably even hear me talking. <laughs> He can hear me yelling. Okay, let's break that right there so he can see inside. Time set night. Okay, I broke a, a hole in the top of the roof so that he could, he should be able to see inside of it. <laughs> he definitely knows now. I'm gonna drink the milk so that he can see me and I'm gonna sleep. Or I'll just stand on top of his bed. He definitely knows something's going on now because he's not typing though. He sees the hole. <laughs> And now he's gonna get hit by a zombie. Uh, should I help him? I'll hit the zombie towards him. He's having a lot. I don't think he knows how to PVP in this version, but that's okay. We can watch it happen. It took him a lot. Hi there. Hey, Jack. Sorry that I have to do this again. I Sorry, I put a new mod where you could see into your house and everything. <laughs> He's like, yo, what is this? This isn't very tactical. It doesn't actually work that well. All I can see is your feet whenever you come up and down. It doesn't work that well. I'm being honest. He's hiding from me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> you don't have to come in the camera if you don't want. When you first, I know that when you came up the second time, it was obviously really obvious because I did this. But did you know that I was like able to see you the whole time like this at all? No. <laughs> You came up a couple times and you went AFK right there and I had stolen like your uh, furnace and everything and like half of your house was gone <laughs> and you came up and you just like did you say put stuff in my uh, Wait, come closer come stuff. closer so you can hear the, iron in the what the furnace oh <laughs> I also got your iron on accident. I got three of your iron ingots and your gold. Oh, did you realize, Jack? I took your gold too. <laughs> it was. So, I came up uh, like ten minutes in or something like that. That was funny. 